What is up Guardians and welcome to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I really wanted to just showcase the Inferno Skirmish playlist and talk a little bit about why you really ought to invest in this playlist and spend a considerable amount of time here when it's available. The thing I like most about this playlist is essentially that it forces you to form some good habits in order to be successful in this playlist. Uh, and these good habits really center around mobility, map movement, spatial awareness, and uh, manipulating sight lines and cover really, really well. So if you want to be really successful in this playlist, those are some of the things that you're going to have to do. And the good thing about formulating those, uh, those habits is that once you form those habits and sort of solidify them, those are the habits that are really going to serve you well in playlists like Trials of Osiris and other more competitive settings when you find yourself going up against some pretty uh, stiff competition. So this map is a, is a great map to showcase uh, map movement. Now I'm not going to fast forward any of this footage and it may be a little bit more slow than some of my other footage plays out. But that's how the Inferno playlist uh, especially plays out. It's, it's a much more slower paced uh, playlist, especially on maps that are bigger like this. So this particular match, I ended up only dying once in the entire match. And, uh, and that was at the very end, I got hit with a stray fusion grenade. It stuck to my feet and killed me. So I ended up 14 and 1 on this match. But you'll notice one of the things that I'm doing is... Um, one, I'm not staying in any one place for very long at all. What I'm doing is usually I'll get one kill from a specific vantage point, and then I'll stick around for one, maybe two seconds to try and acquire another target, and if I don't see one, I just move. Because I'm assuming that my position is now compromised and people are going to be uh, converging on my location. So I see this guy come in to flank my teammates, so I go ahead and chuck that grenade just to deter him from going through that doorway. And then while he's um, sort of sort of uh, held at bay by that grenade, I come up behind, get the easy flank kill, double beat down, pretty easy to do when the guy doesn't know you're there. So that's one of the things I really like about this playlist is because of the no radar, you're really uh, freed up to make some more strategic plays. But also because of the no radar, it's, it's easy for you to get crept up on. So I'm constantly checking my flank. I'm not staying in one place for very long. And... Uh, Frequently, as soon as I take damage, if I don't have that target acquired, then uh, I'm just going to bug out and run. Now, I know these guys are all bunched up up here. They don't know where I'm at yet. I go high over their sight lines. That would have been a nice double kill, but my teammates, uh, one sniped and the other came up from behind with a shotgun. So, even though I wasted a super, I'm still proud of my blueberries for converging on the enemy position well. But, um... One of the things I really love about this playlist is that it's sort of the great equalizer. Because there's no radar, it basically puts everyone on equal footing. So Thorn users, Last Word users, much more easy to uh, counter in this playlist. And in this particular match, I'm going against one Thorn and one Last Word. So uh, just as a, you know, just to verify that a little bit more, I only died one time going against a Thorn and a Last Word. But that's because... Um, I'm being so mobile, and you're about to see here pretty soon, I'll show you um, some instances where I just cut and run. Now here, they know where we were, because that's where we just sniped at them from. So I'm going to start moving around uh, and, 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 and checking these um, sort of flanking sight lines. That's something that's going to serve you well in Trials too on these bigger maps where you're sort of outside of their radar uh, range. You can still do some uh, wider sweeping motions, and here... I'm able to catch two of them off guard. They know where my uh, teammates are because my teammates aren't necessarily being super mobile. They're kind of staying put. So once these uh, opponents of mine acquire their targets, they're uh, kind of tunnel visioning in. Now here, I, I missed my first burst or else I would have had that kill. But instantly, I start taking damage, I instantly just cut and run. And as soon as I get some uh, visual cover uh, to break uh, the line of sight for my opponents, I'm going to turn around. When I did uh, turn around, I saw that I was being pursued by two, so I'm just going to start skating the crap out of there. I don't want to go 1v2. Once I get some uh, visual cover again, I break line of sight. Then we're back on equal footing again. I turn around, I get the snipe, and then I continue moving around the map, and every now and then turning around, checking my flank. This is how I ended up going 14-1 and one, because of that mobility. Now I also like how I was able to sort of uh, play with some other weapons and skills. This is my Constellation Scar. It has um, reactive reload. It also has Battle Runner. 
and I've never used Battle Runner before. I haven't thought that it sounded like a very useful skill. But in this playlist, where it's all about mobility, I thought, hey, that might actually be fun to play with in conjunction with the sort of Titan mobility, because uh, like I've shown in previous videos, Titans can get around super quick. So you see, I get a kill here, and that Battle Runner kicks in. Now, I really wish that Battle Runner um, was more than five seconds. I really wish that it stayed active longer. But I was able to sort of uh, get some team wipes here, and then as Battle Runner is active, I can quickly make my way to the other side of the map. Now, while this isn't the preferable side of the map to be on, the thing I like about uh, the Inferno playlist is when I have that Battle Runner active, I'm able to kind of come around here quickly. I can get behind where they spawn, and while they think that we're over here on this side of the map, which most of my team was, I'm able to kind of uh, come around and flank them and get some easy kills. And um, that's the thing about this playlist is you can rack up a lot of easy kills, kills where your opponent isn't really uh, looking at you, and, and basically you can just flank the crap out of these guys and rack up a significant number of kills. And it's not cheap, it's just that these, these people, not, not everyone is good at map mobility and, and rotating around the map as, as needed according to what your uh, op opposition is doing. Now my teammate there went down because he spent too much time standing in a place that had sight lines on either side of him. There's sort of three ways that he could have been attacked and he was only looking at one. So that's not good. Anytime you can be attacked by uh, multiple angles and you can only look at one of them, that's not a good situation. So you never want to stay in one place like that for too long. And you'll see me, every time I get a kill, I mean I may look for a second target for one, maybe two seconds and then I'm bugging out because I'm assuming I'm I'm compromised at that point. And uh, here's a good example of that, getting attacked from my flank. Uh, luckily my, my teammate was there to sort of uh, give the guy another target. Now I start taking damage, I immediately r run for cover to break visual contact, and then now that I've broken that visual contact, I'm using audio cues, I can hear this guy blinking around, so it lets me know that he is definitely pursuing me. So you want to learn to use audio cues as well. Don't just rely on radar to, to place people. Listen for shoulder charges. Listen for supers. Listen for blinks. That's going to help you place your opposition and, and understand where they are and how they're moving. And that will make you better equipped uh, for the scenario. So this little back stone is, is a great sight line to uh, pick people off for sniping, but it's, it also makes you a pretty good target, so I never stay there long. Get a, get a kill, maybe two, and then run away. So here's an example of a time where I'm going to get a little bit more uh, dangerous. I'm going to come into the middle of the map to get a revive. And generally speaking, and, and my, my teammate denied the revive. I want to make sure you're not doing that. Uh, try and stick around and see if your team is going to revive you because those are easy points. And uh, one of my biggest pet peeves is, is playing in the skirmish playlist when people never accept revives. They always just uh, hold that whatever button it is for you on your console just to force the, re the respawn. Don't do that. At least take the second to look around and see if there are any uh, teammates nearby. Because not only is it easy points, but your teammate may be going for a strategic revive that's going to give you and them an overshield. And so if they're going one-on-one -on -one with somebody, uh, that, that can be the thing that, that helps them win that engagement if they get an overshield and give their opponent another target to deal with. So make sure that you're waiting for the revives and uh, don't just force that respawn. Try and accept as many revives as you can unless it's in a, a really hot scenario where you see that you're being hard scoped, your or orb is being hard scoped by a sniper. In, in those cases, obviously, you're going to want to force that respawn. So this map is a much smaller map. It played a lot more quickly, but uh, because of the Titan mobility, I was able to get around pretty quickly. Still do all the same principles applied. Uh, those flanking tactics, so I'm not staying in one spot for very long. I am using this pillar as visual cover because uh, the way that people approach this position, if they know that we're back here, if I'm staying on this side of the pillar, I may get guys that don't see me and just move right past. So you never want to stay hard scoped for very long either. You saw me there hard scoping with my sniper, and then I decided it's time to move. Go ahead and move up and uh, cutting into the middle of the map here for the shoulder charge. Take advantage of opponents that aren't looking at you. If you don't have their aggro, then um, then don't worry about trying to get the flashy kill. Don't worry about um, 
even going for the gun kills. If they're close enough and they don't know you're there, just get the double beat down and uh, don't worry about wasting ammo. And uh, sometimes the time to kill on your primary might be a lot slower than just a double beat down. So just go for that double beat down. That way, if once you get that kill, there's another opponent that sees you, you don't have to worry about reloading your weapon. Your weapon's already ready. So using all these strategies, I've been able to rack up a pretty uh, a pretty solid KD in this playlist. Just because of all the mobility, I'm able to stay out of um, my opponent's lines of sight. I'm able to juggle aggro. I'm able to get the drop on people by using vertical space and mobility. And so I'm dying a lot less. I've got a lot of kill streaks, and you've seen um, a couple of 10 kill streaks already in, in this video. And uh, these were all back-to-back -back matches, so it wasn't like I'm cherry-picking rare footage where I'm actually playing well. Like this is using these strategies. This is the normal. And uh, I was able to, because of uh, all this mobility, I was able to start having some fun with the way that I approached engagements like this, the uh, jumping, hip fire, snipe. And uh, I, I ended up, because I was confident in my ability to get out of bad situations quickly, I started going for these more. And so it frees you up. And I would encourage you, you're never going to do anything awesome if you never try. You're never going to do something that's like a really sweet play if you don't give it a shot. So sometimes it's worth, um, you know, maybe putting yourself in harm's way just to try something cool. Something that's going to give you some bragging rights. And make sure that you're uh, ready to record that footage and post it. I love watching clutch plays from other people. It's fun. Now that was an example of me learning, always check your corners when you go into a room. So this time I did, I was able to catch this sniper just sitting there in a corner, hoping that if he got flanked, people wouldn't be checking their corners. So I'm able to just get the double beat down real quick on him, and then uh, wrap up the other two players on the team after that. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Make sure that while this playlist is active, you go ahead and hop in there and start trying to form some of these great habits that will serve you well in other scenarios. Thanks, guys.